I'm just going to do a really quick training nugget on getting you up and running with 3D in X lights. Now I'm not going to be covering how you actually create the 3D model of your house. That would need to be a separate tutorial, but there's many apps out there that you can use to generate the 3D model. But to do this tutorial, you'll need the OBJ file of your house. So let's crack on. So when you switch into 3D mode, you will get this uh, mesh by default. Now you'll see that under here in the 3D objects. So you're not forced to keep that. You can uh, remove this item and you can resize it accordingly if you wish. But it's usually nice to have because it gives you a, a reference point for the ground uh, you know, of your house. So the first step we do is we need to add an object and we're going to choose mesh. So this is now going to represent our property. So we come over to the area now for the mesh and we now must navigate to the appropriate OBJ file. Now hopefully the OBJ file contains the materials as well otherwise you will just get a mesh object but this one does. So if we open that we now get our object. So, so now at this stage we forget any props. This is where you know navigating is the important thing. So I'm going to cover all of the navigation and you know the control tools for resizing and positioning things. So the first thing is if we click just anywhere outside of the prop with our left mouse button we click and hold the left mouse button now we can rotate around we can you know pan up and down rotate left and right so that's our first navigation now we have our middle mouse wheel if we rotate our middle mouse wheel forward we can zoom in and zoom out by rolling the wheel backwards now if we want to pan, if we press and hold the center wheel, we can now move left and right and up and down. So you know if we need to get underneath the model or really above the model, and then we can use our left mouse button to you know, look down on our house. Okay, so those are the navigation controls. Now, when it comes to controlling props and objects, You'll notice that we see these little marks here. There is green, blue, and red. Now, if this is obscured by your model, you can actually click a button and only show the mesh. And now we can actually see through the model. So I'm going to do that in this case. Now, this is already aligned with the ground, as you can see. But once we see arrows, we can use the red arrow to move our object left and right like this. The green arrow will move us up and down. And then the blue arrow moves us forwards and backwards. So on the Z axis, axis should I say. Now, as you can see, these are showing arrows. If we click this orange box in the middle, you notice that the arrows change to squares. At this point, we can resize. So if we drag the red, we, we will make the object wider or narrower. Drag the blue, we're doing the same again, but on the Z axis. And then the same for the green to make the taller. So once you're happy with your house we can just turn the mesh off and there we go and we've got our house ready. So let's just put a few props on there just to uh, show how we do this and how we align things. So let's put a mega tree in here and I think this courtyard needs a nice big mega tree. So we can see here that the mega tree currently is in the middle of our house, so that's not 
good. So what I suggest you do is we want, we know we want to move it out. So get, get a nice view so we can see. And in this case, we want to use the blue arrow to pull our mega tree into place. Now we can rotate around and we can think, okay, I want it slightly there. And we can just now also check underneath our model to see if the mega tree is poking through, which it isn't. But you can tell that if I was to move it down, you'd see the pixels start coming through the floor. So we can actually move the, the mega tree into position. Okay. Now I'm not happy with that. I, I think, you know, I, I prefer a slightly smaller tree. I mean, I don't want something uh, quite that big. So I'm just going to resize it slightly. Now the final one. Now I will show the final uh, part of the controls, which is the rotation uh, on a different prop as well, because it'll be more visual. But imagine I wanted to rotate this tree around. I can rotate on the green and you can see there, you can see the model rotating. Actually, it's quite easily to visualize that. So that's not a problem. So you can rotate that around. The red will rotate it around this axis. So you, you, if we look, we can make it up, you know, upside down or left to right. And then this one will tilt the prop. So effectively, just a summary. When, when we see arrows, we are moving the object in the three different axis. Click again. We can resize the object. Click again and we can rotate the object as well. Okay. And it's no different for if we just put one more thing on. Let's put, say, an arch in place. Okay. What we do, we do get a few more controls now because we're not just controlling the position of the arch. We can, we're controlling the position of the start of the arch and the end of the arch. So if I click on this one, you can see I can, you know, I can end up with an arch floating in midair, or I can stretch the arch out to make it bigger that way. And I can rotate just this front edge, this right edge of the arch inwards and outwards. And again, we can still do use these tools as well for moving the arch in March's position. So. If you look, it's the arch is actually slightly in the wall. So if we pull it out, you can see, you can see there as it disappears into the wall, we pull that out. And I'm going to put the arch right above the the door. So I'm going to click again and resize it as well. So you see there, and then if I click away, click on this item, okay. We can see now we've got an arch over our doorway. So there you go. And as you can see, the interface is very responsive. So the x -Lite developers have done an amazing job, an amazing job with this uh, 3D functionality and incredibly user friendly, very easy to move things around. So enjoy and see you next time.